come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, episode 299. Yep. We've been doing this for a long time. so <laughs> To say the least. So if you're new to the show... Welcome aboard. You Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. That's right. I'm, uh, Previously on the Freak Show. Yeah. What, do we, what now, do we do here? Here's a one hour clip show. <laughs> <laughs> of all the best It moments. would be a lot of out of context like, it would yeah, be. things. But what do we do if not do great out of context commentary? <laughs> That's what That's it's true. all about. Yeah, That's as true. we sit around here and we talk about movies and then we argue about them sometimes later on in the show. You'll stick around for that part. We're going to talk about a movie for like an hour. We're going to answer some of your mail for a little bit. Then we're going to like throw the movie to the wolves. Here's what you're going to do. And that's, that's what, what you're we're going to do. Right now. That's going to be awesome. 15, real quick. <laughs> so uh, we should probably uh, introduce ourselves. We are the Internet Radio Superstar. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean. What did we watch tonight? Uh, from the year 1986, we watched Slaughter High. Slaughter High, directed Slaughter High. by <laughs> three dudes. Uh, My three dudes: George Dugdale, Mark Ezra, and Peter Mackenzie Lytton. This is kind of an anomaly because you written by all of them as well. Well, it's a well, it's a triple threat. Usually, you don't see a movie that's Usually written and directed by three people. Yeah, yeah. Now, was this a collective project or was it a hey, I'm out and this guy's going to take over? Project? No, actually, it was that's a, a good collective. question. It is yeah. a good question. This was a collective project. They all three really? got together. They had this idea. This idea may have also come from one of the producers. Uh, what's his name? Dick Randall. Who's also a producer on Pieces? Well, that was Kayla's explained. laughing at Dick Randall. Dick, <laughs> Dick Randall. I don't know why it's so funny, but it is. It doesn't mm, sound like Dick a real Randall. name. It doesn't. It sounds like a porn name. It kind of does. Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, producer on Pieces. He's also in the movie in that scene. With the the guy? That's the guy. That's Dick that's Randall. Dick Randall making oh, a cameo in the movie. The legend. Wow. The legend. The man. The myth. Yeah, that so would explain nice. why the poster for Pieces was in this movie. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think either he had the idea or the three collectively got the idea for this, and they got together and wrote it. Originally, uh, the movie, believe it or not, titled, what do you think? I have no uh, fucking idea. April Fool's Day. There you go. Originally oh, titled well, April Fool's sense. Day, and then they shot most of the movie under the assumption Oh, but that's this what is it would the be. same year. Same year. That a movie from Paramount came out called? April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. Day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they decided <laughs> to change the name of their movie. There is... Uh, a version of the movie where uh, the title is still April Fool's Day. Like, they created oh, really? t- the the title opening sequence and everything, and it was mm. out there, but they had to change it. So, Slaughter High is what we get. You learn something new every day. Every day. Yeah, wow. So, this is, uh, I, w- I was saying it's a late uh, late entry into the slasher franchise. Indeed. Uh, yeah, sweepstakes. Because slasher movies were a big thing between, like, 1981 and 1982. That's on the heyday. Between those. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> well, that that's when, I mean, it was like every movie was a slasher movie. Right. Mm-hmm. All of them because of the success of Friday the 13th in 1980, which was all aping the formula right. that was established by Halloween in 1978. And it really does go to show, like, how much John Carpenter, like, set the, uh, the template. You know, I mean, he mm-hmm. created... And when you go back, I mean, there's Black Christmas. There's always Black yep. Christmas. That keeps getting brought up. Yeah. yeah. Which well, so cannot maybe, be, like, dismissed. So are we going to say, if you're tracking the, the is it the etymology? The the history, sure. the evolution of the slasher film? Mm-hmm. Is it, uh, like, you know, Psycho gives you the graphic, you know, knife murder. Mm-hmm. Black Christmas gives you the point of view of the killer and the people in an isolated location. Right. And then Halloween kind of gives you... What does it give you that Black Christmas didn't have? A costume. The ma- a masked mm. killer? A masked yeah. killer. Yeah. Yeah. You get and, POV in that a little bit, but it's mostly the masked killer aspect of it. Mm-hmm. And so, well, and spoiler for Black Christmas, you never find out who the killer is in that one, and there's true. a definite answer in Halloween. If right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. yeah where well, the killer becomes more of a central, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess because they put a mask on him. Maybe that yeah. was the mm-hmm. thing. You put a mask on him, you can have him in the shot. Right. Because you don't you know, still who, don't know who he is. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Whereas for uh, Billy, is it in Black Christmas? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you, yeah. yeah, you just got to keep him off and have him rambling mm-hmm. on the phone. Yeah. But Friday yeah. the 13th is generally looked at as the one that codified 
uh, what the slasher movie was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It checks off all the boxes. Well, it doesn't have the mass killer, I suppose. The not first Friday well, not the, the first one, no. Mm-hmm. But it brought the... Uh, I think Friday the 13th was the first one that brought in, like, the creative, uh, gruesome uh, murder set pieces. Right. The kills, mm-hmm. we'll call them. The kills. It's mm-hmm. the kills. Thank you very much. Yeah. How important are the the kills to a slasher movie? This is a question I ask you, having just watched Slaughter High. In this movie, extremely it important. Depends. <laughs> it depends on the movie. If yeah. it builds good yeah. suspension and atmosphere, the kills are not as important. That's why I said in if this it movie. it doesn't <laughs> build good suspension and atmosphere, then the kills are, are, are the only thing. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what you need. If, you're lack, if you know you're lacking somewhere yeah. else, you've got to make up for it in the kills. You do. It, it is weird that we as a human species like to watch other people get you know vivisected on yeah film. but it does add What's like uh it's survivalism that's it's not us true. that's our is it thought. That, yeah. is the kind of the nature. living vicariously through like you're experiencing you know your final moment you know it's like a, a right. boot camp we're for the one, soul we're all or whatever of death and so you this know, is it, a safe way to confront it yeah mm-hmm. yeah what yeah, if but, you were fed to a you know, leaf chop or wood chipper or something mm-hmm. like that. You right. get to see it in a movie. Right. How would I react? How would I feel? Yeah. Being, how would it feel? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah. That's really... I would not like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ah, I didn't know until I saw it just now. <laughs> but now I, I know. Not <laughs> like being fed to a wood chipper. Good to know. Check it off. Well, the maybe list. that's the thing though. You can that's think about it, but when you actually like see it, it mm-hmm. somehow literalizes the experience of it yeah. you know, mm-hmm. in some way. And I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's always seemed like, you know, I mean, the movie, Movies are exploitation. They hinge upon a good slasher movie. Mm. I, I'm almost, I almost can't think of one off the top of my head of as an as, as an example that doesn't show you. I mean, maybe Halloween, right? Mm. It, it doesn't show you graphic murders, right? That's still compelling. The rest of them all seem like you have to have the graphic murder. Otherwise, it's like <sighs> checking my watch. It's like what? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they just have 30 minute chasings at the end of their movie. Dear mm-hmm. God. Yeah. <laughs> well, the structure of a slasher movie is like pretty rigid, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. You have to have, I mean, I would start say a good like incident. 90% of them start with an inciting incident mm-hmm. that took place sometime in the past. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then the bulk of the movie takes place in the present day as, you know, you know, you got the 10 little Indians situation Uh, where you got a bunch of people and one by one, they meet their uh, exit from the movie. Yes. And then you have the 30 minute uh, final. Well, usually it's a girl. So usually it's final girl, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, beauty versus Mm -hmm. the beast. Yes. At Mm -hmm. the end of the movie. There Mm -hmm. you go. Boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Structure for a slasher movie. How does this movie uh, fill in those uh, gaps. What's our what's our with scenario? Uh, uh, bad uh, American accents. Was well, this movie with film? bad? Just with bad. <laughs> just with, with bad. With bad. <laughs> bad, with bad. Bad. Fill in the blank after. Right, yeah. Was this movie filmed in England? It was filmed in England. Aha! That's shocking. <laughs> All the actors except for Donnie Yeager. are British. Okay. Yeah, Every right. single one like of them. It. <laughs> so they're all very sometimes. Not bad, sometimes failing very badly to put on American accents, to mm. hide the British accents. Nancy was particularly uh, bad. At yeah, it. yeah. She was bad. This, Shit. Movie. this may make this movie uh, like a, an anomaly in the slasher canon, then. That it's a, a, an English slasher movie. It, like an English movie basically. trying to do an American subgenre. Yes, mm-hmm. except shot in England in a uh, very... English sanitarium slash in the countryside school in, the, in, yeah. in the English countryside. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That was like a fucking Our abbey roads or don't something. look like that. Like, no, no, like, 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 like Michaela pointed out, it looked like pro- pro- professor X's school. Yeah. Basically for yes. gifted children. Yeah. Well, the movie is supposed to, the script says that it takes place in a high school, but we're sitting there during the movie <laughs> going <With> like, <laughs> there is no way that this is a high school. It looks like a disused sanitarium. It does, yeah. And there's no yeah. way these are high schoolers. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> These thirty-five-year-old men and women. It could not look farther from an American high school. Like it could Very not true. look farther from an American it made, high school. It, it made more sense once we hopped into the plot. I say that loosely, um, and realized that it's going to be like ten, fifteen years later. That made a little more sense. This is mm-hmm. five years but, later. 
Is it really? Is it say that? Shut, Shut up! <laughs> Shut it up! Is, it is a five-year gap. Do they establish no, that? I believe so. Someone said. I believe the janitor, the caretaker, may have said five years. It's been five years. What have you been doing? So I think that place they... well, went no, into no, such no. disarray in five years. Yeah, but that I, makes listen, no sense. He said that it it's been closed for five years. Yeah, he didn't say that. So we, it doesn't necessarily pretty, mean that the in my reading incident, going into this, I'm, it's I think it's five years later. Good no. But we never hear like a character say like it's our ten year reunion. No, no, they never say anything like that. But I'm pretty sure it's five years. In five years, so they were thirty five. When paint. they went to high school and 40 when they came back for the reunion. <laughs> yeah. All the paints peeled off the walls. Yeah. Cobwebs everywhere. Yeah. Um, okay, so what's our inciting incident? What goes, what's uh, the setup for this movie? Well, we have uh, Marty, I guess, the uh, out of the 10 people that went to this high school. Sure. No joke, 10. Like, we're not exaggerating. It is straight up. Yeah. yeah I don't think we ever 10. see anyone else there's in more, the hallway. There's, there's, shot there's, there's no more extras. people behind them. And that's Was it. there? There is. I there feel is. like they weren't one meant to shot. be there. One shot. And it may have been, I couldn't quite tell, it may have been the actors that we've seen before. See, that's what yeah. I thought. I thought it was them. Yeah, Still just that's what I thought. Them. But it just showed the two guys, and I'm pretty sure there were different people behind him, but if it is, that's yeah, the only shot in the entire movie that that happens. Mm. Mm. Uh, but out of the ten people that attend this high school, Marty is apparently the nerdiest of the nerds, because they're all fucking nerdy, as we yeah, established. Yeah, they are. We He's like one this. of the Saved by the Bell nerds. You know, like oh, the Saved yeah. by the Bell nerds, yeah, but like yeah. their names were like Max Nerdstrom. You know, yeah, like yeah. that was the character's <laughs> name. Yeah, because yeah. that's how nerdy they were. That's what Didn't, this dude's like. Tori Spelling played a, like Screech's cousin on that. No, his girlfriend. Uh, no, his she girl- was Violet, Violet Bickerstaff. Violet, Violet Bickerstaff, his right. girlfriend. Yeah. The guy who was, you remember the guy who was Violet's boyfriend? Yes. That's who Marty kind of reminds me of, except just look wise, not uh, attitude wise. Look wise, yeah. Attitude, he was very more like. Because he was rich. Mm, yes. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, these characters are written just like real people. Just like they talk so like real people. And I think the reason why they're all they all talk very loudly, but I think that's their way of getting over having British accents. They're mm-hmm. trying to, to speak, just yell. I think so. I think they're trying to they're over exaggerating to try and cover up their accents. It was it was very sorry. I'm no, kind of disregarding what you're saying. No, go ahead. <laughs> um, it was very like um, Eugene. From Greece. Oh, yeah. Right? Hey, Eugene. Yeah. It was yeah. very Eugene. <laughs> yeah. The kid's clearly on the spectrum. Uh, old Martin. Yes. Oh, he's yeah, on Martin. the spectrum. So he gets For made sure. fun of a lot. Much yeah. like Prom Night or Terror Train, right. there is a scene where he is humiliated. Now, so there's two scenes. This was brutal, though. Yeah. yeah. This is fucking this was traumatizing bad. shit. Like, well, it would be, but the movie doesn't play it out that way, which is weird. I mean, it does for the character, but like, it doesn't seem like anyone's really affected, including Marty, yeah. by the... Yeah. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I'm worried about that actor, though. I'm worried about that actor. Like, he did all that for this movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like A couple weeks after this movie was finished, oh God. Uh, Simon yeah, Scudamore say. overdosed and died. Jesus yeah. as fucking an, As an apparent, Christ. like, it was on purpose suicide, and the filmmakers and everybody kind of worried Christ. whether this oh, led to my, it. Oh, my... You think? Yes, yes. Well, no, well, they, Jesus! But, no, but his... I think his sister... Said that uh, he had, you know, he had the best time making this movie, and it was one of his proudest things that he ever did. That's like, sad. That, that makes it worse. Movie. That makes I, it I don't, worse. Yeah, I don't know, but a couple weeks later, yes, he, he did, did die full frontal. Yeah, he did full overdose. frontal. Like, like, holy cow. like that whole scene was like, like, yeah. oh, God, yeah, that, he was well, like actually being tortured. Yeah, yes, it's, it's an embarrassing it's scene the, where yeah. you know, I mean, I mean, that's what this is supposed to be happening. But usually, you don't see like this amount of camera coverage. Where there's a group of yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, co-ed yeah. people, like they, because they trick him in. They, he thinks he's going to get laid in the shower of the girls' right. locker room, a key location yeah. in this movie. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> we will come back to one this of three several times. Uh, but in the girls' locker room, you know, all the other uh, jocks and assorted um, uh, people, uh, allegedly cool kids. I'm cool not kids. buying kids. it. Kids. No, they come in to the videotape this because uh, it's a it's a it's a put on. It's a prank that they're doing. Yeah. It's on. A, it takes place on April but Fool's Day. But everyone has a prop in their hand and is involved somehow. Right. This they is super elaborate. Super elaborate. Including super elaborate. a javelin. Yeah, it's really yeah. weird. One of them has a javelin that they're going to poke at this naked guy, which is like <laughs> you know, just when you're watching oh. it, you're like. This looks don't unsafe. Do that. Don't yeah. poke me. Don't yeah. don't do I that. Nude. One of them wears a jester mask, which will come back at mm-hmm. uh, some point in oh, the film. Sure. Of course. And uh, basically, they they strip him naked, or he strips himself naked, and yeah. then they expose him to the camera, and then they uh, try to dunk his head in the. Uh, yeah. in well, the first, in they the hose him down with a fire extinguisher. Right. Yeah, then yeah. Then they electrocute him. Then they electrocute him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I they about electro- the electrocution. That's what I'm saying. This is brutal. Oh, this is yeah. really yeah. bad. Yeah. Like we're. 
kind of trying to kill you. And yeah. it's all being videotaped. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Then and he gets the, swirling. And they're caught at this yeah. by the coach. Uh, the co the gym coach teacher. Digby. But not a principal. Like there's no principal that ever enters into the equation here. It's always the, the coach. One. Yeah. Yeah. It's Maybe. really weird. Yeah. I mean, mm. like even his reaction is like, "You suckers are gonna go and do give me twenty in the you know whatever." Yeah. But mm-hmm. it doesn't right. seem like you know I'm calling your parents or whatever because I no. guess they are forty years old. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, they're ten years younger than this coach. Is yeah. this like like a like GED program or something instead? That would make a lot <laughs> more be, sense if it was like night right. school or something. You yeah. Know? Well, we've got nowhere else to have this program. We're going to have it in this abandoned Yeah, yeah. That's what it yeah. felt like. Actually, yeah. I actually thought at the beginning like this was like the off season just because there's nobody else in the school. No right. one. It does not feel like a mm-hmm. high school remotely. No. Well, okay. No. And if we were making this movie in America in like maybe a different studio, right? The way you'd show he's a nerd is he would get like pushed up against some lockers and drop his books, right? That's like shorthand for like he's yeah. a nerd that right. gets That's picked the on. Like- this movie leapfrogs straight over that and goes straight to like let's watch this guy get brutally tortured in a right. yeah. locker Full room. Full frontal embarrassment. Yeah. Yeah. For a long time. A long time. No. It's a long scene. And most movies would be content to go like, okay, that is the inciting incident. Something happens during this torture. Yeah, no, it gets worse. No, yeah, because he's like fine with it afterwards. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, okay, you know, we see him in the hall, I assume the same day. This is a day for Marty. Like, he's used to this. It feels like the way they play it off. (laughs) He's got to go to a chemistry class where he's going to perfect some, uh, you know, whatever he's got to. Yep. He's got to work on labs. He's got an equation yeah. on the board. He's, he's doing shit. Because yeah. we know he's brainy, and that's this, we're just like putting nerd all over this guy. And they give him uh, a joint, mm-hmm. and he takes it. I'm like, these guys just like tortured you in the bathroom, but okay. Like, oh, we're sorry. Well, Here's but they, they kind of like laid the breadcrumbs for his naivete by like they said that. Like he he still thinks that Caroline Monroe is gonna have sex with him. Oh, yeah, like he still said uh, right. he was like right he's like oh yeah he's like why why'd you guys have to interrupt is basically what he said mm-hmm. you know yeah. like he doesn't me. get it. I like, forgot to say that the because he's on the fucking spectrum. Yeah, the angelic Caroline Monroe's in school. Uh, Caroline mm-hmm. Monroe, who is she, now thank you very much, Sean. You've put her on she's the wall. wall. Yeah. Yeah. Is she? All she right. was she in uh, Captain Kronos, Vampire Star, Hunter. Star yep. Crash. And uh, this. Three times. Boom. Wow. Caroline she's Monroe. She's also in Maniac. Which we haven't done, we but haven't yeah. Here. But, but that's yeah. why she's a genre favorite. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. people know her. I mean, either she was in like the seventh, uh, or was it the seventh Voyage of Sinbad? Or the Golden Voyage? Golden Voyage of Sinbad? Mm, I mean, yep. she's done a, the last horror show. All this yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. She's a Bond girl. Mm-hmm. Very true. An early Bond girl, like Casino Royale, right? No, she was Roger Moore. I think it was uh, For Your Eyes Only, maybe. She's a villain in no. one of the Bond movies. Yeah. She was in a Dracula movie with Chris right. Leo. She's all over the place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Congratulations little tangent. to Caroline Monroe. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo to her. Um, so they, uh, they, they give him this joint, which he, you know, naively accepts. And I'm like, oh, the fucking joint's going to kill him or something. But no, it just makes him sick. And it like has little like caps or something. In it. Right. And they're Pop like, caps. what the fuck is going on? We've already had the inciting incident. Now mm-hmm. we have this, which is nothing. But then they sneak into his lab when he's not there. Mm-hmm. And they, they put- just can't leave this kid alone. Yeah, they no. cannot. No, you got to you got to poison him and then, you know, set him on fire. Why do they hate this kid so much? Right. It's just they're bullies because he's the brainiac. He's the it's lone the nerd in the thing school. To do. It's just to bully someone. He's else. the yeah. one person at the school not in their clique. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Like yeah. it's the clique, it's and then and one this of the dude. dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. wow. that's it, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. So this whole movie is an anti-bullying uh, thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, a lot of slasher movies, uh, you know, horror movies, mm-hmm. you usually have like the person who's wronged who gets their revenge. Uh, even Iron Man three did that. Guy, Pierce, Guy Pierce's character was all oh, was yeah, all yeah. Yeah. very yeah. nerdy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, true. <laughs> That's still a trope. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you're mean to these kids, yeah. they will become villains and you right. will pay for it later on because you know, hey, just be good to people. Mm-hmm. That's basically right. what the lesson is. There's well, worse these are lessons all you can learn. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a positive thing, a slasher movie. You should watch yeah. them all. Yeah. <laughs> Life lessons learned. <laughs> like Colin. Um, I'm working my way through all of them. Uh, not quite there yet. <laughs> then I'll write a book and it'll be mm-hmm. awesome. Um, and then you'll die. So, wow. All right. <laughs> I mean, he will. <laughs> okay. This is true. You got me there. So they put something in his uh, the beaker, 
uh, fluid. All right, then. Well, and he has the foams. big thing of nitric acid without a lid on it, sitting on top of <laughs> a, top rickety, a rickety shelf, shelf above yeah. his head. Which so. we see like three times before right. it is used. We're saying this is the setup for the movie, but how long does this prologue? It's long. You... It's pretty long. It's just like 20 minutes. How long is the movie? Hour and a half. So it's like almost a third of this movie. Good grief. Yeah. Okay. So we got, it's like 20 minutes into this whole prologue, 20 minutes into everybody showing up, and yeah. then we get into the last of the movie. So in this scene, this final climactic prologue scene, mm. uh, he ends up... Because uh, the prologue has like three acts. Yeah, it has three, a three-act <laughs> yeah. prologue. He ends up getting a full load of nitric acid to the face. Mm-hmm. Right. And setting the building on fire. Yeah, there's and, an explosion. Uh, so because we have to somehow figure out a way to deform our, because uh, I mean, that's like in Hollywood, I swear to God, it's the, you keep checking it, like the vanity, right? To be mm-hmm. deformed is like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yep. Yes. And so uh, he's horribly burned and they wheel him out in a stretcher. He tries to kill Caroline Monroe. That's right. He tries to strangle her on his way out because she feels remorseful. Sure. Don't they all? Do they? It's a little late. No, they don't. <laughs> no. They don't. They I don't think sorry. they do. Well, no, they don't. They don't. <laughs> later, later on, when they're at their reunion, they're like talking about Marty, and they clearly yeah. don't give a shit. Oh, no, they don't mm-hmm. care. They don't care. Like he's at IBM. He's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't care. And they're like, "Yeah, oh, he's forgotten about us." It's he's like not I don't. At IBM. I don't think <laughs> this that kind of abuse like gets forgotten. By no, people. no, <laughs> it doesn't. Especially when there's video evidence of it. No one's gonna forget. Yeah. Like when you could like because. They kind of have blackmail forever, right? Like they can just like c- choose to continuously torture him for the rest of his life if they want, because they have that video footage of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like so. it's never gonna end. It's ongoing for him. Now some slasher movies have dealt with similar subjects. I mentioned a couple of them before, but I mean generally, I don't know if you haven't seen this movie, listener. You're painting a picture in your head right now, but I don't know if we can do justice to the uh, the way that this movie. Uh, attempts to grapple with these serious themes. <laughs> <laughs> so we would say that, like, I mean, aside from Caroline Monroe, and even her, I mean, she's uh, very pleasing to look at, but maybe not the best thespian sure. in the world. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> like, I don't know if she can carry a movie. Uh, all of her compatriots, who's the best actor in this movie? Ugh. <laughs> That's exactly I what I, I don't think there is a right answer no, here. No, there's know? not. <laughs> the janitor? It is not Skip. Come yeah, on. maybe the janitor. I'm going to say the janitor. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he was like very broad and over the top, too. Yeah. It's like well, they're, sure. all they're all like pretty much. They're yelling. They're, they're all ye- yelling. They're all trying to hide their accents, <laughs> which is not for, it does not make uh, Which one did acting. you say was the uh, lone American or Canadian in the group? Uh, Donnie Yeager, the blonde. Who gets electrocuted on the bed? Uh, I believe okay. that's oh, her. Oh, I hated She's the her. Only one, yeah. oh. She had like a New Jersey vibe about her, so I'm not right. surprised by yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Even people who saw this movie still thought she was a, a Brit trying oh, wow. to impersonate really? an American. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because of the terrible accent she was doing. Well, we were trying to track down the accents. I mean, they were right. like. I mean, I was, because when it first started, I'm like, Caroline Monroe is British, but she's doing an okay American accent. But then there were some of the other ones where we're like, is that Canadian? Is he from New Jersey? Is that New York? Like, what the hell are they doing? And then eventually oh, really you're like, trying mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. It's like, no, I guess they can't. You can maybe. hear it. That they, if they came out, like, these people sound like they have great voices if they were just use their accents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a moment where uh, Pollock. Uh, did some Skippy shouting. Pollock? Let's skip Pollock. Yeah. Skip Pollock yeah. did some shouting like, come on, Marty, where are you? Just come and get us. Yeah. Where I'm like, this guy's done Shakespeare yeah. somewhere yeah. in a yeah. park. Shakespeare in the park, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you they could, all have. No, you could see it in his facial expressions. I'm like, this guy's acting for the stage because he's doing these like big, like yeah, big eyes and big he's faces. He's acting for the stage right A plague right now. on both your houses. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. really he's is. He's done that yeah. before. Uh-huh. Yeah. They all do like these over exaggerated, maybe it's stage acting Mm -hmm. where, you know, they're just like, oh, oh," you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, when he Big got arms. hacked in the face, he should have said a a two brute. <laughs> as he like grabs her as he's going down, that would have been great. Would have been better. I'm sure it he had to hold back. Better. I'm sure he wanted to. Been, yeah. I'm sure it was like as they were doing it. It's yeah. like, oh, yes. Well, I mean, the movie to get everybody together again, X number of years after. Yeah, we'll the, just say X number uh, of years. The the opening, uh, they, they come together the for a high school reunion. 
Uh, they've all been invited to it. They get there, and the place is boarded up, covered with cobwebs, and obviously closed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they decide to break in anyway and hold their high school reunion. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Yes, right? it is. <laughs> it's kind of like, and there's a room that's dedicated to everyone coming back still. Yeah. Yeah. Listener, if you've looked forward to your high school reunion enough that you would go to those links, please tell us about it. I yeah. think we cannot I, relate to that feeling. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I think the key moment for me that I was like, yeah, this is a British movie is the decor was all American flags. Oh, <laughs> much like them. pieces and pieces. Yeah. They did that too. Yeah. Like, oh, we are yeah. totally an American college. It's an American movie. It would have been great if there was like hot dogs all over the table yeah. too and stuff. Oh, I love hot dogs. And <laughs> I mean, they, they were they were apple, apple pie. pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, I gotta say, they were not wrong about the Pabst Blue Ribbon That's part very, of it. That was accurate. Got that right. That was That's accurate. Right. Some Colt Forty Five. Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't know what it was. They're like, That's, yeah, sure, bring that. In. Yeah. Is it more expensive to import all that shit than just shoot the goddamn movie and whatever? I don't it's know. Because like, we drink English beer. Yeah. A lot, well, they actually. Have, yeah. They have some of ours over there, yeah. but yeah. I, I don't mm-hmm. think their Budweiser is our Budweiser, but they mm-hmm. have Budweiser, mm-hmm. which is just German for beer. But, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, they have Jack Daniels and stuff like that. Sure. Um, Wild turkey. These people can't afford that. Yeah, I was gonna say they're uh, they're more bottom shelf than that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, to f- suffice to say, the plot mechanics. And again, I'm using the term <laughs> plot lightly, but <laughs> that's uh, that, the mechanics. That's one year yeah. just rolling with nothing attached to it. It endeavors to try and get these people uh, to split off into groups or to hang out and just you know yes, until you a psychopath wearing a jester mask. Uh, can pick them off one by one. So, oh, and this is accompanied by a uh, score by Harry Manfredini. Mm-hmm. And you may recognize this you name, may. horror fan, as the guy who created the legendary stringed, uh, you know, score to Friday the 13th. And you may recognize it because pretty much the whole thing's in this movie. <laughs> It's really like basically the whole. How can thing? you make it more annoying? He'll show you. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll hear it in this one. Yeah, you'll find out. Well, what was that? Meow, 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 meow. What? What are you doing? <laughs> That's the theme song for the movie, and some crazy laughter, and just like a synth going meow, 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 meow. Man, 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 man. That's it. That's it. Hear, that's this it. is going to haunt repeat, your and dreams. And uh, oh, yeah. I apologize you'll to never listeners. You know, yeah. yeah, that's going to be in your head for you'll the next never week. It. It's yeah. like when you learn how to play chapsticks on the keyboard. That's it. that's what it's like. You know, yeah. it's, it's that level of um, mm-hmm. skill happening. <laughs> yeah. I think it's only going to be in listeners' head for the next week if Sean just at random starts breaking into it like the movie does uh, yeah. intermittently through the rest of this review. Yeah. Indeed. Well, I mean, this is the guy who came up with the ch ch and all that other stuff. And this movie, it is weird watching a movie with a Friday the 13th <laughs> score where it doesn't have that. Because it's a slasher right. movie. Mm-hmm. Using the Friday the 13th, I mean, it. there's moments where it's like, yeah, that's where, the it's score. Criminal. For- it's almost criminal. <laughs> yeah. There's only one other movie I know that does this. What's that? Wes Craven's uh, Swamp Thing. That's Harry Manfredini also. It is. And yeah. it's almost wholesale again that he's using So he's the not Friday actually score. He's not actually doing new work. He's just like being like, here you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I already got yeah, this locked yeah, and loaded. Yeah. Yes, that is yeah. all he's doing. Well, I mean, his scores did evolve over time. Like, I think he started bringing in, like, electronic stuff around this time, which is weird, actually, because that would mean that this movie came out the same year as both Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, mm. and House. Those two scores sound alike. This one doesn't sound like those two. This one no. sounds like, like the, the earlier, earlier Friday the 13th and Swamp Thing scores. And then later on, he started getting into the shit that would be Jason Goes to Hell mm. and uh, Jason X, which I think is some of like, the worst music I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, Jason I mean, X, there's like a lot of terrible new metal on that soundtrack, too. It's bad. Yeah, but the score is like... Mm-hmm. It's like a- that... Uh, it's like synthy dance music constantly playing underneath every scene. It's ins- it's maddening because it's one of those movies. Once you notice the score, you can't stop hearing it, and it just makes yeah, the whole, mm-hmm. oh, it's bad. Well, the mm-hmm. idea of a score is that it's not supposed to draw attention to itself, right? <laughs> I mean, Somebody didn't tell him that for this movie. <laughs> well, it was drawing attention to itself in this movie because it would be like, I mean, there were wholesale notes. I mean, there's a lot of the you know violins, but there were also times where it was like, this is you know what he did in Friday the 13th. These are the Friday the 13th stingers. You know, all of a sudden a body drops down as the 
exact same music. Yep. So, I mean, it draws attention to itself just because it sounds exactly like the other film's uh, score. Um, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> So man, there man, are. Man, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just keep keep that up. I mean, you know, we don't have. Ch- 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 Michaela might kill me. <laughs> that's yeah, what it's yeah, 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 like to watch this man, movie. Man, man, man. Which also forms the basis of the theme song, which I don't think we're ever told what the title is. I don't think no. There's nothing in the credits that would identify it. But it's like one of the worst theme songs I think I've ever heard, maybe in my it's life. Good. Yeah. Where it starts off with some kind of electronic mirror, 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 and then launches into a thing where, like, in eight in the eighties, for some reason, all the vocalists were like in a fucking tin can mm-hmm. singing. <laughs> and it sounds like he's singing nonsense. Like I can't discern what he's saying <laughs> at all. It's just yeah. I was hoping for him to say like slaughter high. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No. Doesn't happen. Mm-mm. Um. So anyway, this is the forms the. This is how you score the uh, murders, the, which is the reason that we are here to see this movie is to see these obnoxious people get killed off one by one mm-hmm. oh, you don't like them like getting together after like five years and just reminiscing and sharing i wanted them all and- to die <laughs> <laughs> as soon as possible why, Holly? why did you want them all to die because they suck because they suck <laughs> <laughs> they don't say anything. i hate them all <laughs> it's literally every word that escapes their mouths is some cliche of the ridiculous past. It is. It's very bad. To the to doesn't that one character even says like all we gotta do is stay awake, right? Yeah. yeah I yeah, was like, how good. dare you? Yeah. How dare you? What two years after a Nightmare on Elm Street, you're saying that? Yeah. Wow. You think you are? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what gives you the right? What gives you the right? Oh, bastards! Fantastically bad. <laughs> fantastically it bad. It's bad. bad. Yeah, you're taking the fantastic out of it. I, I am. Appreciate I'm that taking it out. You're probably right. It's just bad. <laughs> um, so. The catalog. Well, okay. For, so Caroline Monroe is the negligible lead in this movie because yeah. a she's the most you know bankable, recognizable person in the cast. She's also married to one of the directors. <sighs> you just said the phrase "one of the directors." There's three directors. In three I know minutes, that. Yeah. I'm just that. I still can't. Just, yeah. get in over case that. you forgot. Yeah. 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 I have a question then because usually when you have these directorial teams, it's like one of them is going to deal with the camera. The other deals with the actors. actors yeah. mm-hmm. You got three. One, one will deal with Caroline Monroe. <laughs> that's how, that's how that sounds up. really creepy. You put it that way, Sean. Caroline Monroe. But All of her scenes. Uh, yeah. Is this where she met him? Yeah, they met on this. No. They were dating during, oh. dating during the movie. Oh, I'm heartbroken. And after. I'm heartbroken. Still married to this day, have two children. You know, okay, everything that came out of this movie in real life, not worth it. Just going to say that. like <laughs> The marriage, She might have gotten married, but that other guy died. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Just way to bring us down, Michaela. There's a, the, the reality. <laughs> so. I, I, didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> How dare you make this movie yeah. in 1986? Do you know what the breakdown was that they say on the commentary tracks, which oh, I'm oh, sure what, you've listened uh, to? On I, think this? They, I think they did. I don't remember it, though. What Who had what responsibilities? Okay. They do I'm discuss like, what it. What do they fucking do? Like, each one of them? I don't know. I, it feels I, like a movie that... I'm like, sure nobody, there was a lot of... I'm not even no. I'm not going to say that. I was going to say I'm sure there's a lot of rewriting on set. There's no rewriting on this. this they just made it up as they went along. Yeah. As they went along. Mm-hmm. Well, it ends up being it's uh, it's uh, April 1st, right? Is oh, the yeah. day that this is an anniversary. Caroline Monroe's the hero of the movie only because we get one scene with her outside of at the beginning where you know, we right. find out that she's become a famous actress or something. Mm-hmm. And she accepts a call from the producer. This is art imitating life right here. <laughs> she says, I'm not yeah. going to I'm not gonna do your stupid movie. I'd rather go to my high school reunion. Do you think that was her actual apartment? Because like the de- oh. set decoration, that apartment uh, was insane. I believe it is, yeah. because there's certain things. Uh, it had metallic they wallpaper. Shot, they shot outside of her apartment, so I have no reason to not believe that that is her apartment. Yeah, do you see that living room? It's got to be. With that wet bar? That bar was huge, yeah. first of all. I can't believe that's her apartment. It had yeah. metallic wallpaper. Uh-huh. And, and that then that bed that looked that like bed. it was from Back Rob to the Future too. Yeah, yeah. Looked, that bed yeah. was insane. It looked so like much Biff's apartment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So much coke. Yes. <laughs> I like the little, uh, what is it, the dual level? They call it a tri-level, yeah. dual level. Dual level? Dupli- two level. Du- du- Whatever you step dupli- down into the right, yeah. the living room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. big-ass fireplace. Yeah, yeah. kind of nice. That's nice. Yeah. Orgies. Just need, yeah. yeah. You need a yeah. big, like, uh, leopard skin, you know, on the floor yeah. or something. Everything's yeah. velvet. I was going to say, everything's velvet. Everything's yep. velvet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tiger skin. Everything feels good. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that really determines that she's the main character right. of the film, right? That we got a scene with yeah, her. Because yeah. otherwise, everybody in the cast pretty much has. I mean, there's nobody that's more virtuous than the others. No. No. 
Well, maybe that one blonde girl that like uh, actually felt remorse for Nancy? everything. Yeah, and was like the almost last one to die. But eh. it, also it didn't. It didn't lead to anything. So did she feel remorse? Kind of felt like she just didn't want to be blamed for it. Probably. I mean, none yeah. of them are good people. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. No. There's also the one person, her friend, who surprises her in the shower earlier on, who shows up for two seconds later on in the movie. Yeah. And then disappears and ends up falling and hanging from the rafters. Yeah. Well, oh, she was the her. girl. Yeah, that was like her best friend in yeah. high school because she was in on the gag at the yeah. beginning. She was the one who came in and started. Yeah. Um, Which, by the way, I forgot. I was like, why is this bitch showing up late? I totally forgot about that <laughs> scene earlier. Said, I have a thing and I'll yep, be there later. Totally forgot. Yep. Yeah, it's like we don't get what the the importance are of these scenes, you know? It's like, I, or these characters. Yeah. It's like ultimately. I mean, again, I can, can I can forgive that to a certain extent if the uh, you know if your payoff is awesome, right? Your murders. So that's what we got to get to here. Murder. Yes, we got to get to our catalog of slaughter in it took Slaughter us, High. It took us thirty five minutes to get there. It took the movie thirty five minutes to get there as well. Mm, yeah. I think it took longer more. than yeah, that. Yeah, it took longer because it felt like forever. Where we're sitting there going like, so someone's gonna get killed in this movie, the slasher <laughs> movie, right? Right. Yeah. They really had to stretch this shit out to make it a full length movie. They really That's why did. they that's why there's a, a ten minute chase scene at the end oh. of this, because they're like our our uh seventy five our our ninety page script only fills seventy five minutes of this movie. We gotta figure something out. Have Caroline Monroe run around for ten minutes. Yeah. That's where it came from. Well the janitor who had nothing to do oh, yeah. with anything is the first victim. Because I guess that's this is the setup as you're trying to, you know, like, ooh, the, the wheels are turning and there's danger here. You have to establish that there's danger. We have to kill a character early on. So it's either you kill someone for the group or you kill someone who's just in the building. Right. And in this case, it happens to be the janitor. This is, should be the warning to everybody, but nobody ever finds his body until after, you know. Yeah, the, it, it didn't make yeah. sense. So even the way that this was constructed... Uh, you know, he comes into his room, I think, and like startles a guy who like lifts him up with superhuman strength, which right. is like, huh? Yeah, Marty's been lifting. I guess because <laughs> now he can grab you by the throat and hoist you yeah. into the air. Is it like, is it crazy strength? Is that well, a that's thing? what I'm wondering? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> crazy once, strength. Once you crazy get strength. scarred for life, yeah. you just uh, once you've lost yeah, your mind, you out. Yeah. right? You lose those nerve endings. It's like yeah. Dark Man. It's, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's like. It's like dark. It's just like Once per- you go through that whole thing and you can't feel pain yeah. and all that stuff, permanent you've been scarred, like adrenaline. You're just like, yeah. Mm. yeah. I ask you this then as a side question because this made me think. I mean, we're talking about him like he's, like he's it's Marty. Spoiler, spoiler alert! It is Marty. It is Marty. <laughs> um, but the movie puts a mask on him. Yeah. For the purpose of hiding his identity. Yeah. For why? They just wanted to... Don't know. They yeah. just wanted to have they a just, killer with a mask. Yeah, that's it. I have to imagine. Well, because it, because the movie was April Fool's. Yeah, so you have a like, Joker. Right, mm-hmm. so you have a Joker. Like, that's really why. Because it was April Fool's Day. See, but usually... That's the theme that they're going for. I mean, the more expertly done version of this B-movie mm-hmm. strata says, like, B. well, the person that you, uh, you know, bullied died. Yeah. And now years later, someone's picking us off and they're using the same costume of something that he, you know, some memento that, you know, was right. related to him. And so it's like, well, who can it be? Is he back from the dead? Did he not die? Or is it someone killing someone in his place? This movie fucks that all up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, we know that slasher movie villains wear masks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's put a mask on our slasher movie villain, even though we know who it is mm-hmm. the entire way through the movie, mm-hmm. because there's a very confined cl- cast. There's no one else that it could be. At some point, I was entertaining, like, could it be the gym teacher? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be great. Oh, God. Right? I mean, what's his motivation? That's a long game that he's yeah. playing. Yeah. That is yeah. a long game he's I'm playing. get you kids Drop for and fucking give me up 20. with 20. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a long game. Yeah. But I thought the the delivery of the uh, the first kill of the you know the janitor. It's just like he grabs the guy by the throat in a smooth motion, lifts him up, and impales the poor janitor uh, back of his head on a coat rack. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, wow, that happened really fast, and it's over and done with. And yep. like, and then he crucified him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He for no his hands good in, yeah. reason, except that it no makes it more. Well, and the more janitor brutal. never did shit to him. Yeah, that's what made anything. no sense. Yeah. Is that the janitor actually? He yeah. helped him. He's the one that went and told the gym teacher. Yeah. 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 
So wow. why did he die? That sucks. Dick move. Yeah, I mean, total dick death. move. That's the only reason. Well, because our killer is gone, he's operating outside the bounds of uh, you know polite society at this point because of the wrong that he was given so great. Gives him the right to no. Okay, just, all, right. Just, all right, sure. I, I was willing to go there. Yeah. It's just anger. <laughs> yeah. So then he starts killing the cast, the proper cast, the cast proper. Yes, the cast, the cast proper. proper. Um, starting with, uh, he laces or somehow, even though they've all been drinking off of the, right. uh, he laced one can with yeah. some chemicals because it's chemistry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So he laced one can with some sort of chemicals. And mm-hmm. blew this guy up. He, his guts explode. Well, he's, I would have felt a hole in his stomach. That was gross. That, that was, was gross. gross. That was very yeah. gross. Yeah, was gross. score very gross. point to slaughter high. But at yeah. the same time, he probably had the least painful death of anyone. I probably. Know, I don't know. No, you ever had that, like, heat, your that whole, pain in your stomach? Yeah, oh. but yeah. like. Your esophagus uh, is burning. Electrocution on a bed seems pretty terrible. But all, but the bathtub of acid. The bathtub of acid looks pretty they're bad. They're all pretty bad. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go through anything. Yeah, these. I think the janitor got it easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. He did. Well, <laughs> these are good, but he drinks his PBR and then his. You know, his he has like an like, alien oh, moment. He yeah. does, and his guts just leak out. That's the fantastic, not seen in recent memory uh, bladder, air bladder effect. Yeah. yeah. Where you have the stretchy rubber skin going, bloop, 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 you yeah. know, and yeah. inflating on the guy's stomach because he's like, oh, oh my God. And then eventually it cracks and... And it shoots blood onto that one girl's face. Yeah, Don't know yeah. her name. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because... <laughs> Well, this becomes like a thing. Yeah. There's a domino yeah. effect here, guys. Yeah. 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 Yes. Apparently, when she needs to wash her face, she has to fully immerse herself in a bathtub. That's what I do. A, like, is that what you do? Yeah. If I'm sweating and I'm yeah. just like, ooh, I should wash my face immediately in the shower. Do you yeah. guys remember what on. the bathrooms looked like at your high school? Would I you do. shower? Yes. Would you shower I, in those? Well, like, this one, the locker room? I, I, didn't want I to. went to private school. So. <laughs> Did they have <laughs> tubs? <laughs> No, we yeah, did no, not have no tubs. Has tubs. No, no so we had showers. Just say that now. <laughs> but before this, we're keyed off to like, huh? Because they eventually, when they're coming into the school and they're wandering around looking at it like, hey, you remember, let's find our old classroom. They find a room with a bed in it. I'm like, we had what, a, we had what a, was taught here? We had a baptism tub. Holly cracked this case, though. <laughs> yeah. Holly cracked the case. Yeah, she right. did. Holly cracked it right yeah. off the yeah. bat. Yeah. Yeah. Holly knew anything. We, we, we bust <laughs> into a room that's got a bed, a broom, and an ebony magazine. And Holly's like... I got this. That's the black janitor. I know janitor. everything that's the black janitor who's been now the caretaker and he's taking care of everything. Yeah. Yep. And Except he's not know? because it's it's falling yeah. apart. Oh, he's a terrible so he's doing caretaker. A bad job, that's but. why they're gonna shut it. They're gonna they're gonna yeah. knock it down in Ter- a month. He's like, yeah. I didn't do my job well. Yeah. I don't think they put care. T- that should be a security guard. But whatever. Well, you know, I mean, you know. it's uh, 1986. What they yeah. know then? Um, they didn't have cell phones. They're <laughs> that's the only that's the only thing that's different. <laughs> Didn't have cell phones. What do you guys So then uh the girl who uh has to go bathe in the school bathtub. Yeah, right, to wash you know, her which face. We all had, right, to wash I can't her face. get over that. Right, just to wash her face. The blood's twice. on her face and her shirt, but like when she takes like Sean what do you guys point out? Once she takes her sh- like clothes off, like it's just on it's her face. Just on it's your just face. her face. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's like, amazing. She can, she can take her jacket off and be fine. I yeah. thought at one point maybe she had some in like her upper, uh, like neck, chest area, mm-hmm. but then I'm like, no, nah, I don't. I think it was just on her face. She's getting naked in the bathtub just to wash her face. Either way, even if it's on her neck, still doesn't require a bath. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's That's same. like, oh, oh, like, oh, I, I, I cut my finger. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when I was in high school, I did everything I could to avoid using the locker room showers yeah. at school. Yeah. Like, and that was when I was in high school. So if I'm going back for a high school reunion, definitely not fucking taking yeah. the showers. There's yeah. no one else for there. Five years. Yeah. 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 But eventually the, the faucet runs with uh, some type of acid. Probably. Like what was it? Nitric acid. Nitric acid. I assume. I'm assuming. Sulfuric. I assume. And it uh, burns her to death in the tub. Into to a skeleton. Yeah. She'd be, how do they even know it's her? Because it's a skeleton when they look at it. Well, she's the only one up there, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, she yeah. Process yeah. Elimination. Process yeah they literally left her alone in the room yeah. with the, the dead guy. So right. Yeah. That's can her. you identify an Asian skeleton out of uh, from different skeletons? I don't I think mean, you can. I don't think I'm that's sure okay. science has a way of doing it now, but I mean, <laughs> right? But sure. the, Just by look, the way though. human eye, no. no. <laughs> and well, she had a nice, uh, like, uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Last Crusade, well, okay. face melting scene. And, 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 I appreciate. And, it. I know. I appreciate nice it because they did it. An yeah. entertaining, well? yeah, right. moment. Yeah, her it was face well, melts. Uh, her face melted. Yeah, in stop motion animation, mm-hmm. just out of the blue, like, oh, okay. Yeah, and so she's dead. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, then the next show piece. I'm really seen. impressed that you're remembering the order because I don't remember. Well, this might shit. be out of order. Yeah. No, this is in order so far. But I remember the uh, the there's a, a car- well no there's the guy who who's the mechanic who's they're yep. gonna, he's going to try and fix the lawnmower so they can escape on the lawnmower. Well, I, like I don't understand this because I don't understand not, it at all. Either. Well, don't the know. killer has a tractor too. It's not a tractor. It's a That's fucking lawnmower. Because it's written it's by Englishmen. Right. Well, uh, yeah, because they're all English, and so all those like the. Colloquialism? Colloquialism? Yeah. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's all coming out in the words they're saying. Oh, that makes so the much sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Because if you go back and look through it, the things they're saying are like, that's not, you're not American. Oh, dude, that explains why they drive a uh, Volkswagen Beetle, because the Beetle's the same all over the world. Right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. You don't yeah. have to get American cars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just um, makes sense. Well, the killer, we're saying that all this is happening because the killer has installed electrified fencing around all the windows. Sure. So they can't escape and all the doors are locked. Got so they're going time. to escape on the tractor and Duder, while he's trying to fix the tractor, you know. Which or, may take him an hour or yeah. more. Well, he hoists you, it up. Sean, and then, you just got to let him do his thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was making. What? <laughs> yeah. And I, 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 at this point, you want to yell at these people. It's like, your friend just got murdered by acid in a bathtub. Why yeah. is everyone so calm? Yeah, you should all be like screaming and trying yeah. to get out any window you can. At this well, point. nobody really. Wait, was, oh, it, was this should. was this after the guy that gets impaled on the fence? For the one that actually gets out and goes to the I car. I think so. I think yeah. so. after yeah. that. Yeah. I think okay. So. Yeah. Because one. Okay. Dude, yeah. This. That I was like the, the order. That's yeah. The second one. That was, yeah. yeah. That's the second okay. one. But second like, one. how did they get? How did they get to this? Lawnmower that looked like it was in a exactly. shed. It looks separate like, right. from the building. Yes. Like tractor we were coming in. How? Well, it's like in yeah. shop class or something. It's attached. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it looked like a garage. Well, it's a garage. Sure it's it's yeah. attached to the building. A very British. So garage. break the garage door open and lift it up or something. Well, a, win- a window somewhere. Yeah. Michaela, you can't break the door down without having the lawnmower <laughs> running. I mean, come on. That's got enough gonna... horsepower to just go right that's, through it. That's right? what you need. Yeah. Horsepower, exactly. But he gets sawed up in his own in the lawnmower. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Gets, first the the. The jack gets taken out from under him, so he's got to hold it up yeah. with his large muscles. And then he cuts yeah. his arms to make him. Oh, Ooh, yeah! That. He starts up and then cuts his arms. And yeah, drops on him and then. Yeah, it's like his legs. Yeah, get yeah. He sh- bleeds. Ugh. He yeah. bleeds to death. So that's like that's hard. Excruciating. Yeah. 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 And then the centerpiece of the movie, maybe oh. I don't know. I took it as the centerpiece was uh, that dude's wife and the other guy, <laughs> the jock, uh, get it right. on in the uh, the janitor's room, uh, yeah. janitor's bedroom, and. The killer again goes to an elaborate method of like elaborate. hooking up uh, the electro or a car battery, yeah. something yeah, to the it. bed frame. It's just a car battery. Yeah, but it's still awesome the way that that played out. You oh, know, sure. <laughs> but yeah. there was an extra wrinkle to that. It was that that girl said that that dude was the father of her baby that she had with the other <laughs> yeah. guy. Yeah, there was a whole like soap opera yeah. thing going on in a character development. Yeah. In a one shot, a slowly push in one shot mm-hmm. that they did yeah. for like three minutes. Yeah. yeah. She's Bravo. like, she's like, don't you remember that day we had sex? You remember that date at that, uh, that specific time? She at said 2 at 2.30. 2 yeah. <laughs> yeah. She knew the time. Yep. <laughs> Afternoon delight. Uh-huh. Wow. Is it in her diary Ooh. or something? Probably. Uh, dear diary. Yeah. Yeah. Today at 2.30. <laughs> I conceived a child with someone that is not my husband. At that's probably what she yeah. wrote because yeah. that's how basically how she delivers the information. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. Could have been you. Yeah. Little Frank. Yeah. <laughs> I thought oh, that scene where she's like, you know, I'm coming, and then she grabs the the bars uh-huh. and gets ele- and electrocutes him as well. Uh-huh. Was like that was the scene that should have been in a Friday the Thirteenth movie yeah. that they just never thought of. That was like the one scene I was like, huh. It would have made more sense on Friday the Thirteenth. I think is that a little over top for the Friday the Thirteenth. No. He picks a girl up and slams in her into a tree bag. in a sleeping yeah. bag. That's, <laughs> like, more appropriate. that's my favorite. He no, appears out of nowhere with <laughs> a, uh, whatever, the weed whacker, the giant, right. out of yeah. nowhere. Well, this all seems, I don't see Jason hooking up things to electrocute people. Punches a dude's head off. Again, this is all from his physical body the that he's killing. The uh, I don't stab? see him going through the process of finding a battery. He digs Why? tunnels underneath the on the whole campground, apparently. That's though. according to a new one. Uh, yeah. I just, this in the old ones, though. a lot of technology that would not be a Jason thing to do. In the yeah. old ones, he does make multiple trips to the shed. Though. Yeah, he's, a, he's just going. more hands-on, is what it is. That's yeah. what it feels. He's like. more hands-on, right? Yeah. He's not um, let all that happen. 
but then there's uh, several other subsequent. There's a hanging. There's a couple stabbing. Hey. But it ends up. I guess we should talk about the uh, the climax of this movie. You do have the uh, the final girl ultimately is by herself after her friend has been dropped into the septic pit and apparently is. Well, yeah, that was gross. Uh, that was, yeah, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. By the uh, only one worse than that was probably the uh, outhouse death in. Uh, what's the camp movie? Um. Friday the Thirteenth. No, Sleepaway no, no. Camp. Sleepaway Camp. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. Sleepaway Camp yeah. too. There's a there's an outhouse death with leeches and stuff. There. Wasn't there Probably one the first one disgusting. with bees? There's one with bees. And the first that. one doesn't go get stung to death in the bathroom. I think so. Maybe in the first one. All I know is in the second one, I think yeah. she gets put into the thing mm-hmm. and she keeps getting oh. pushed down and there's leeches and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Bees are why the slasher but like, stick with us because yep. of these great moments. Yep. So you remember the murders. Yep. If you don't have the murders in there. Why is there like? Work. Why is like the hole to the septic area like covered up though? Because they show the shot of when she's climbing out. And there's like long grass growing over, it, so you can't right. even see it. No wonder she fucking fell in it. Right. Like I, I assume he set it up. It. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna take yeah. the grade off. Yeah. And then and he somehow managed to, to make her run directly into that grave. Right. It's weird that this movie has moments that take place in broad daylight. They yeah. arrive That at creeped night. me out, actually. Yeah, I did not too. like that. Yeah? So. Yeah, like him with that mask in and broad daylight right. chasing her in the yard right. was really unsettling. Really? I did not yeah. like it. Like, they, I don't know. There's something about that that made me have this feeling like, okay, they really have nowhere to go. Like, yeah. they're out in the middle of nowhere, and it's just, they're fucked. They it can't hide. You can't yeah. hide. You like, yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. Because daylight, well, because... I mean, in watching these movies, daylight has kind of always meant safety. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it's, it's like always a safety night. blanket. It's always but at it night. Matter. There's always that shit going on. But yeah. when you get to daylight, it feels safe. Yeah, dawn. They usually always end right. at dawn. Yeah. Right? Right. Like the, you see the characters walking into the dawn having survived yeah. the night. So right. you're saying that that was troubling. I'm like, yeah, this is interesting. I'm going to write yep. this yep. down. Yep. This is something to remember when I make my epic opus slasher film. Well, and it, for, for a second there, for a second before she fell in the septic tank, it felt like the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre where she's like this yeah. close to getting away, you know? Yeah. And, but Yeah, it feels like freedom. Yeah. And mm-hmm. she just falls into a fucking yeah. shit pit. Well, I mean, all they really have to do to be free, to be honest, is survive until noon. Apparently, in- these are, <laughs> by the way, these are this, this is UK rules because okay. that's why. Did you look this it? up? Right. Yeah, well, they explain what? that. This so is a thing. In, so in the UK, stupid. April Fool's Day ends at noon. That's, so they just assumed that was okay. Right. That was so that way they everywhere. Can't, they they can't handle it. it being a full 24 hours. So right. no, they, that's their rules. They call it off at noon because you do not fuck with lunch, Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> you don't fuck with lunch. It's like, all right, we played pranks and everything, but I got to fucking eat now. Yeah. But, so. but here's the thing. We're t- like, we are led to believe this movie take, takes place in America. You can't have it both ways. You can't be like, we're going to film our movie. They England, tried. But it's American, but we're playing by UK rules. You can't, yeah. you, you yeah. can't do that. <laughs> they didn't know any better. <laughs> no, they did. They just chose not to do the thing that made more they sense. They chose not to correct it. Yeah. Well, okay, even so. I get that for some reason, <laughs> uh-huh. April Fool's Day ends at, n- at noon. Fine, Once we get to whatever. Noon, it's fine. It gives, uh, if nothing else, it gives the characters something to... Go but it's out of the fucking the blue. They're like, is, yeah. as long as we make it until noon, he'll stop. Like, wow, <laughs> right. what, yeah, what are you talking about? Act. You know, they yeah. wait yeah. until it's convenient to say yeah, that. Yeah. What? But how does, how, why is he playing by those rules? Is he playing by, you don't no. know nobody, that. Yeah, He's nobody not. said anybody was playing by those He's rules. He's not playing by those rules. Yeah, that's right. They He's just supposed assume. to be batshit crazy. And when, and, it, and noon hits and she still dies anyway, so. Well, this is what is also like a departure from most uh, slasher films. Your final girl gets killed at the end. I'm like, uh, oh, that yeah. actually made me really happy. <laughs> well, because she, well, they're all, wanted everyone to die. I did <laughs> because they're despicable people. Yes, I really get it. Are. You're like, oh, there's nothing that she's done. No remorse. She should not uh, survive this film. He, he she assaulted doesn't. this person and documented it, and just never ever thought twice about it. Yeah. yeah. Even in the time sense, like there's no been no reflection on what yep. they've done. Yeah. So no. yep. you know, because even in some early like other slash movies, there may be a moment where there's people get reflective about mm-hmm. these things yeah. and mm-hmm. they don't feel good about it. And yeah. all that. Mm-hmm. Not happening in this movie. Or they're yep. all like, you know, it's like, yeah, we did this thing, but we just don't want to go to jail, but we don't feel good about it. Right. Here, it's like they don't have any right. sense of, you know, remorse Mm-mm. or like, no, nah, we fucked with him. It was fine. He's fine. He's Whatever. Fine. They're yeah. fine. We're all fine. But no, he's a deformed maniac running around, killing them all with a Joker mm-hmm. hat on. Right. And Which then is finally revealed. At the end, after he kills Caroline Monroe. Yeah. He does the... take his stuff off. And you're like, oh, it is Marty. And then yeah. it's Marty. It's just Marty. Shocker. Mm-hmm. Surprise. It is Marty. It is. Yeah. It kind of felt like, oh, okay, it is. Well, I guess mm-hmm. it is what we thought it was going to be. 
you didn't and feel you think it, it, was it would like, end there but it well doesn't. no that's what i kind of feel like the movie <laughs> does you're just like oh all right it just is marty it just it feels like Marty. there should be something else. Oh, like, but there is something else. Oh, yeah. there is. Sean, I think maybe that's. <laughs> there's two more something. Maybe that's <laughs> why, Colin. Maybe that's why it is just Marty. Well, do tell us, Holly. Yeah, what what are these two somethings you speak of? It was funny because we're watching and we're like, wait. Are they going to like all start haunting him? Is that it? And Colin's like, is he just crazy? Is that it? It was both. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> just watch the fucking movie. Well, la- lawnmower fixer dude turns into the Hulk. Yes, he does. <laughs> like, he, does. he looks like Lou straight up. He looks really just does. like Lou Ferrigno. He looks like Lou like Ferrigno. Yeah. 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 And, and like, Caroline Monroe right. has the fright wig on. It's oh. like seven yeah. times the size of yeah, her head. Yeah, it's like three feet high. Yeah. It's insane. Wonderful. And yeah. they're haunting Marty. They are. Yeah. He walks into Marty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he so, walks in a very colorful room. As far as my understanding of what has actually transpired mm-hmm. in the movie, mm-hmm. everybody, so all these people get killed. We see it from Caroline Monroe's perspective. She gets invited to the, the reunion. Mm-hmm. They all go to the reunion. Marty kills them all at the end. Yep. He's revealed to be the hero of his own story. He has killed them all. I'm Marty. I did it. I got them all. Then they haunt him because now that he's committed all these murders, right. his psychology, his, his psyche is collapsing back in on itself. Yep. And then he wakes up in a mental hospital. Yep. And that means that the entire movie, ladies and gentlemen, did not happen. Yeah. I feel like it did. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I would agree. No, it did not happen. No. This right. was all, all the, in his head. This yeah. is like an hour after he's had facial reconstruction surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But the thing I like about that is the okay, thing I like about tell. that I don't like it as a whole, but the thing I like about it is like he went into such detail in his like fantasy of killing these people that he made up a story about one of the girls like having a baby with the other dude. Yeah. Like that's how much detail yeah. he went into torturing those people is that like there's layers yeah, that to is it. Because, Marty's because yeah. what else are you gonna do when you're laying in a hospital exactly, bed recovering? Yeah. You're gonna sit there and dream about fucking killing gonna, the people that did this to you. Yeah, yeah, and you're also gonna dream about soap operas. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna he's very creative, Sean. Soap opera, sure. Yeah, yeah. Just, I like it. <laughs> wouldn't you daydream, or wouldn't you see it? I mean, granted, this wouldn't be a good movie, but or maybe it would. But you'd see it from your point of view, not everyone else's point of view. You're the star of your movie. You're the well, killer. He's still, you're awesome. Yeah. You kill with Caroline Monroe. This would be yeah. like the yeah. re- Maniac remake. He still loves yeah, he, yeah. Right. She's she's still the star, right? Even he still in loves his her daydream, the, he's still going to make it with her. Remember, right. he still thinks he's she's got still a the chance. Figure of his imagination. I suppose yeah. that's why it, all the lines in the shower at the end where he kills her and he does like poke her with the uh, javelin, right? Mm-hmm. Are duplicates of the lines that uh, she, she said, said to him, to him at yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. It's there it all, there's it all more. comes together and makes an but, excellent movie. But there's, there's more. more. What are you talking about? What? Clearly, that is a good place to end the movie, no? no there, well, first of all, there's patients in this hospital just wandering the halls. Mm. Several of them we yeah. see. Um, and we'll catch them. Shuffling yep. along. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> shuffling like. around. Uh, and we see an alarm goes off in the mental it's institution. It's the most British alarm in the history of the world. <laughs> it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Not Silent, very loud. Quietly read, just going beep. 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 <laughs> I thought it was a little it's more going, obnoxious than that. It's going, it, uh, excuse me. We right. have that maybe going. it sounded like do 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 and uh, the nurse is going to give him some something, some uh, something for the pain, something for the pain. It's a really big fucking needle. Yeah, Jesus and. The doctor comes in to see why the alarm's going off. The nurse turns around. It's Marty in the nurse costume. Oh my dun, dun, dun. And he stabs needle his needle in the, and then dabs him in the, in eye. the doctor's eye. And Which then looks, looks uncomfortable. At, yeah. Looks, and I'm looks like, at the camera and starts pulling his skin grab. Peeling off. his own skin off. Yeah. Whew. Uh, so these, some of these things are just like you're putting your actors at peril for some of this stuff. Between yeah. the Marty being on fire at the beginning. Yeah. Basically trying yeah. to turn off the yeah. That looked like. Oh, like, reaching oh, through that, that fire. Yeah. yeah. Between that, the dude hanging, the hanging, and for a movie on this 
I'm assuming this low a budget. Like, I would not trust any yeah. st- quote unquote stunt person that was on mm-hmm. this movie to the, hang me from the, anything. The, the, the javelin through the, the javelin curtain? through the curtain. Yeah, that black. Yeah. They're risking yeah. oh everything. They're poking at yeah. uh, Mar- uh, Caroline Monroe. That's and what it's makes like... independent filmmaking fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. You never know what's going to happen. Well, it's always adventurous. Well, like he has no idea what he's poking at. He's no, just, he's just hoping he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. and then Basically. this fucking doctor gets a fucking and it looks bad. Yeah. Well, it's a retractable thing, but those things are still sharp yeah. he gets it in the corner of his eye yeah. I'm like Jesus Christ nope yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and he peels his face off like you said yep. but why, why? why? why does, because he's why? crazy he's crazy that's it and that's the whole point that's the thesis statement of this movie like, yeah there you go Marty's crazy Marty's crazy Marty's crazy well it's setting up uh, you know Slaughter High 2 which could be the, is it which though? could be Slaughter High One because it took place all in his head. It just does so, exactly yeah. what happens. Yeah. It really yeah. could be. Uh, yeah, you could. I mean, it's screaming for a sequel that just cuts up the first movie mm-hmm. and puts it into the sequel. Yeah, it just has a different I feel, ending. I feel, <laughs> I feel like if they actually played it out though, like Slaughter High Two would just be him trying to do everything he wanted to do, but fucking everything oh, up. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, because he is like a real life Millhouse, you know. He so is. like he would. Yeah. He, all he of his like every traps up. would turn on him. You yes, know? Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. He just yeah. end up hurting himself a bunch, you oh. know. Yeah. And he'd be in pieces by the end of it. Yeah. He uh-huh. would be. Wow. Awful. Oh. Let me uh, end this by giving you the tagline. Of the Please, movie. Okay, yes, here we go. tagline. Off the poster. Uh, Slaughter High, Marty majored in cutting classmates. Did you know oh, there was God. a movie called Cutting Class? I hate that. Oh, really? With I hate Brad it Pitt, and it's a slasher film. Oh, I believe, I believe it. Yeah. Why not? Cutting, cutting class. class. Cutting? Cutting Class. Of the, okay. <laughs> oh, we're done. There's a lot right. of problems with that tagline. A lot. You don't have majors in high school, first of all. No, that's that's my. I think you one. do. I think you do in uh, in British in high school. Europe. I think you do. Yeah, in European high schools. You probably major in something. I think you do. Now we know what Marty majored in. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Out now from Vestron Video, mm, the resurrected Vestron. Vestron Video. Indeed. Thank you for bringing the Blu-ray to the uh, freak show. I don't think Sean. we can watch it any other way. It would probably look terrible. Now it's going on your shelf. I know. I bet it does. It so does. I remember watching this. Uh, I watched this with my most of my family when I was young. That's how I first came this across this Friday movie. night movie. It, well, the... it was like, yeah, me, my brothers and my dad just sitting in a room with a tiny TV watching this movie. Over and over and over, and over again. again. Yeah, that's a <laughs> and then heartwarming I woke up and tale. my face off. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, listeners, we're going to answer some of your mail. Then stick with us because we are going to go around the table and we're going to talk ad nauseum about Slaughter High and what it did to us. And if we, if you <laughs> should watch what it did to us. <laughs> so uh, first of all, first step, bit of business, is to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Uh, we should let the fine folks at home know how they can join the fun and join the Freak Show family by writing to us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Ryan X Decent writes in. Oh. And he what says, uh, I just found your podcast while searching for reviews of The Wraith, and it's already my ah. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Congrats, that was Sean's hey, pick. Hey, just so you remember, I'm the only one who recommended that movie, so don't get too excited. <laughs> oh, burn. Yeah, that's burn. I'm the only one. found it because of my recommendation. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, but he says, it's already my favorite new podcast. Great job, guys and gals. Keep them coming. Aw, thanks, thanks, man. Thanks. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, about Slaughter High, Zombie Brando says, oh, my God, I'm so excited you're doing this. Slaughter High is brilliant trash. A great killer costume, a creepy secluded location, that amazing theme song. <laughs> amazing? amazing? I'm sorry. It's amazing. Amazing? It's that amazing. Amazing theme it. song. It says right there. A variety pack of horribly acted 80s stereotypes begging to be melted in acid baths and drowned in shit. Literally, yeah. not a single likable character, but all the yes. more enjoyable for it. Would love to hear your thoughts on another 1986 slasher that stole this movie's original title, April Fool's Day. Uh, yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. a future episode. Yeah, right. could, be. Yeah. April, could be. Could be. I'll have to save that for April Fool's Day. But yeah. Yeah. Wow, 
Th- that was a very thorough that's analysis. Was. Of this yeah, 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 that's, yeah. 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 That was, that's pretty that's good. Uh, that's, that's zombie Brando. That's really, wrap ups, really man. well done. Yeah. Good job, man. We're done with wrap ups. Uh, well, zombie Brando <laughs> also says, "Thanks for giving me a reason to pop this in my Blu-ray player again. You're all the absolute best. Sending my love to my favorite podcasters. Well, Aww, thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. I'm crying right now. Well, geeking poetic uh, shares that sentiment. And says that Slaughter High is a fucking classic. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, to be determined <laughs> by us, but... <laughs> All right. How about last week's episode, Lone Wolf and Cub Baby uh, Cart in Peril? Ben mm-hmm. Harris writes in and says, a bit of trivia for you. All six movies were edited into one for the UK, released oh. as Shogun Assassin, was then banned when we had the whole video nasties things, and got re- re-released in 1999. Wow. Uh, but ben, I hate to tell you. Only the first two films were edited in yeah. Shogun Assassin. Very true. We got those two, but uh, we didn't. It wasn't banned here. I remember the. I've seen the British poster, mm-hmm. or no, the American poster. Sorry for Shogun Assassin says like banned in so many countries because oh, really? it was banned in England. It's funny how it's funny viral. how it, when stuff gets banned in other countries, that's how we market it in the United right. States. We're yeah, like, okay, yeah. guess yes. what? They couldn't handle it. Nothing yeah. would be better for a movie than <laughs> yeah. to be banned in a different country. Yeah. Such banned an American thing to do. That's yeah. so American. Oh. Uh, we'll allow anything. <laughs> Watch this movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Basin Voorhees writes in. What up? And says, I'm waiting for that little boy's hairstyle to catch on in mainstream culture and become the next Caesar. <laughs> Hashtag Clooney Caesar. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that a few places. I hope the so. Digaro That'd be amazing. The Digaro hairstyle? Yeah. What, you've seen that? Okay. You're full I've of seen, shit. I've no, you have with, not. I've seen it without yeah. the ponytail. Yeah, no, we were saying okay, you've we, seen half of we it. We were saying we were saying Sean and I were saying when we were, when we watched this back in like the nineties, that was a thing. I don't know if it was a thing everywhere, but where we lived, the bangs that were. was a thing. The that bangs. also had the ear fringe and the ponytail. Yeah, this was a three not, part hairstyle. Yeah, <laughs> not, <laughs> not it was the, like three different generations. Yeah, yeah, the bangs part. That was a thing where we lived. It was, yeah. it was yeah. kind it was. of amazing. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Uh, about our movie Catwoman, our episode about Catwoman, um, Chris Huddleston writes in. See Huds! And he says that Michelle Pfeiffer is far and away my favorite Catwoman. Yep. It's the only in everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Tony Genoway writes in and says, Pitoff also did the visual effects for Alien Resurrection. Really? What? Well, that was uh, Jean-Pierre Junet's movie, yeah. and he'd done... Yeah, so uh, after, oh my God. after Catwoman... Interesting. He did... Uh, wait, right? Alien Resurrection was 97? I think so. Catwoman was... 98, yeah. 96? What? Did we what? Say Halle Berry's Catwoman? Yeah. 2004. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Then. So, yeah, yeah, he did it before. All right. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, so he says Michelle Pfeiffer was also my favorite Catwoman. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm about uh, one and a half seasons behind, but I quite enjoy Cameron by Kandova's on the newer incarnation. That must be Gotham. Gotham, yeah. Oh, yeah She's no. not bad. Uh, like, all right. I don't watch well, He says uh, Lee Merriweather made my young lad bits tingle in the day as well. <laughs> I she mean, was on Batman. Justified. Uh, yeah. Yes. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, B Movie Poster Vault disagrees, says no. it's Eartha Kit, and anyone who disagrees is off my Christmas card list. I mean, Eartha Kit was great. I mean, great. the only wrong oh, answer is Halle Berry, right? Uh, I think like, that's, that's right. Wrong. Yeah, that's right. You can, yeah, you can yeah. say like, anyone else. else is yeah. right. Yeah. Halle Berry's wrong. Yeah. Uh, Grant Parrish writes in to say, is it worth noting that Benjamin Bratt was up for a part in Basic Instinct too, but Sharon Stone would not endorse him because she didn't think he was a very good actor. That's funny. <laughs> I love shit like that. Please, that if you have funny. trivia like that, always that's tell really us because that's hilarious. That's, that's really funny. funny. Well, Grant also wants us to know that I want you guys to know that every time you reply to one of my posts on Facebook or read my comment during the podcast, I put out a DM to my friends and family about how famous I am. I love your show. <laughs> love you guys. Love the ego boost. I will never stop listening. Well, you, it's funny you should say that because now I'm going to yeah. show my parents that saying, say, look, people do listen, okay? Yeah. Yeah. People, people listen. do people listen, listen. Like yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah. Because we all have parents who don't understand <laughs> yeah. what we do. No, I no, literally the other night I had to like show my dad what a podcast was and yeah. how to get to one. And I was like, well, here, search for mine. So he started to put in. He's like, oh, it comes up. Like, yeah. yeah, dad, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so it's yeah, gonna we be do a, some things. Uh, yeah, and then he didn't understand why it wasn't on like the front featured page. Yeah. I'm like, okay, Dad, yeah. we're we're just gonna because stop here. Every famous person in the world has their own podcast. Right? So yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. 
And we're, we're going to look up like yet. where we are in the film and TV. Oh, thing. I'm sure I'm, it's I'm way down there. <laughs> but don't look at that one. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks Number for being a part of the family, Grant. Well, yeah. don't depress me. Grant, thanks yeah. for being part of the family. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Kalpfus writes in, says, I think adding Batman to any show is probably a good idea. Yeah. Because we were talking about his yeah. absence from Catwoman. Yeah. 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 Batwoman um, make, or Batwoman. Because I mean, what? Did I say Batwoman? Catwoman. No, I said Batwoman. I would say that was the, I mean, this is. I would say it was the best part of Suicide Squad if there is a best part, right? Is when Batman, Batman showed, showed up. up. Well, yeah, 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 yeah that was the yeah, best yeah. part. Yeah. So uh, Dom Cree, so we posted a photo of someone doing Catwoman cosplay on Instagram. Halle Dom- Berry Catwoman cosplay. Exactly. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah. Specifically. And Dom Cree wrote in and says, I'm boycotting the show until you guys post a photo of Colin's Catwoman cosplay from last Saturday night. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, okay. we would, uh, but uh, you know. Collins, uh, Collins is more skimpy, and we yeah. can't. We can't. Put, we, don't wanna, break, we don't want. We don't want to get flagged. Yeah, you know, we don't. We don't, right. don't, don't, don't want to get, don't get kicked out of Facebook. Get banned so we can't for a week that. or something. Sorry. You know? Yeah, can't do it. And base, you don't want that. Yeah. And <laughs> and Basin Voorhees says, "Is this supposed to be clickbait or the start of a new cosplay career?" Hashtag Saturday Night Cosplay Show. Also, where is Collins' costume? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> It's at the cleaners. Like, of all of us, it's me. Yeah. It's because yeah. they can tell by my yeah. voice I'm dead yeah. sexy. Yeah. That's, That's it. Exactly That's it. Colin. And That's you would it. look good in strapped leather, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess. All right, so that brings us to the most exciting part of our show, the wrap pups. Colin! <laughs> hey, Colin. Hey, Sean. What'd you think about... Now, 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 there it now. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're signing off with that tonight. Too. I think so. <laughs> you will have to suffer through this as much as we did, listener. 1986's Slaughter High. Um. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Sean. I did not have a good time watching this film. However, talking about it afterwards has given me a different appreciation for it. Um. Here's the thing that I've noticed, uh, you know, it's like you got a lot of uh, slasher movie because, I mean, I guess that's why I go to slasher movies. It's not really the plot. I think I saw one called um, I think one of the I, I'm going to say it was one of the lamest slasher films I saw it was 1981's Final Exam. And it uh. took place in a school and there was a killer. And I think like, you know who he is, like at the beginning of the movie, he doesn't wear a mask. It's just a dude. And he's going after and killing people. So there's no interest in like. You know, I mean, he's right. like an escaped lunatic or something, and he just like the school's on the path of where he's going, and there's these kids there when the you know it's off season or something at a college, and so it's like okay, so we know who the guy is. There's no mystery, mm-hmm. and so that it doesn't engage you the same way. And then it also didn't have any uh, creative murders. Oh, well, and it's like, like what the fuck? Also, yeah. So it was like this is a slasher movie without any, and you know, without any kind of appeal. And then the '90s did all their slasher movies. And that's a problem that I had with those too. Is that they didn't do the creative, uh, gory kills, but at least they had faces that you recognize. Sure. I suppose that was the appeal of them. Um, the thing I remember about like the the era, and specifically the movies that Tom Savini had something to do with. Uh, there's a brutality. Like now it's kind of, it's uncomfortable, the gore effects that he pulls off Mm. in his slasher movies. But those are the ones that you remember for years and years afterwards. It's like, that's why he became such a star. It's like his stuff went beyond the pale, looked real and was like brutal. I mean, the Prowler is like a brutal movie and it only has like a, you know, several, a a handful of kills in it. The rest of the movie's not any good, but those murders are like, Jesus Christ. Um, Slaughter High does have a series of, uh, you know, murders. And like I said, the the one, the uh, the, the bed frame, electrified bed frame one yes. where she fries and her face goes all black and, you know, uh, which kills the guy during orgasm. It's like, okay, that one kind of, you know, uh, the, you know, you can see the needle move a little bit in that one. I was like, oh, it's a little bit inspired. Okay. And the rest of them are like, well, I've basically seen all this in the other Friday the 13th movies. So then you go like, well, I mean. The cast is not appealing, you know, and I mean, I worship at the altar of Caroline Monroe, but that hairstyle was not, you know, uh, doing her any favors in this. And she's not really a good actress. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I can't say that I would recommend Slaughter High to you, listener, even if you're a a slasher movie purist. I think and part of that is because I think uh, 
it's also the problem of it coming so late in the cycle. Mm. It's like it's been used up. It's like by this time, you know, the, like other movies have happened that, you know, uh, um, staked out this territory before this one did. And I think the the only then appeal that's left of it is like, I think it's an anomaly. I can't think of another British slasher movie. Because, I mean, slasher films are like, it feels to it's me very like American. a very American film yeah. genre. I mean, of this time anyway. I mean, sure. I'm trying to think of like other British. They've seen Australian slasher. Oh, I'm sure movies it's happened and, and everything, but like we took over like the like you said, the early 80, 81, 82 at least. Yeah. yeah, that it's strictly American. Yeah, yeah. Because they had, uh, I mean, what were they doing in the eighties? But I mean, they had you know devil worship and right. uh, vampires and gothic you know horrors and stuff like this and. You know, the slasher movie was ours and the giallo was the Italian yeah. version, you know, um, which I guess a lot of those took place in England. So whatever. Fair. But um, I suppose that's the the interest. I mean, for the slasher movie historian, uh, Slaughter High is like this is the English kind of holding up a mirror to American slasher movies and bouncing it back at us. This is the reflection, how they saw American slasher movies. We want to get in on this, too, <laughs> and uh, how badly they failed at it. But, you know, no, it's not a good movie. I, I wouldn't. Uh, it's bad. I mean, I think uh, I don't think that you'll have a whole lot of fun with it. Um, I don't know. That's just me. I think it, 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 it would border on like boring. So I guess I'm going to pass on Slaughter High. I'm going to pass on Slaughter High. <laughs> Holly, where are you at? Um, You know, I'm I'm not too far off from where you are, Colin. Uh, we've watched a lot of movies that have made me just like physically just angry because I have to sit through watching it. This, this, oh, it made me like. Kayla, what did you think? <laughs> 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 Slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say this, like I had fun hating it. Yeah. If I if I can say that, sure. I hated it. I really did. <laughs> but I had fun hating it, which is is I can't say that for everything we've That's watched. A lot true. of things, like I said, they make me just angry that I have to sit through it. This I actually enjoyed hating it, the whole thing. Um, but with that, I, I can't honestly say that would make me recommend it um, because the only saving grace was was the death scenes, which I think we all enjoyed the death scenes, even if they were horrible. They were still. They were still somewhat entertaining to watch, um, but that's it wasn't enough to save any to save the movie. Like I, I can't I can't recommend it. It's not like Colin, it's bad. Colin said it. It's bad. Um, but so with that, like if if you're thinking, hey, I want to sit and watch a movie just so I can hate it, then yeah, you'll probably like it. But no, I can't recommend Slaughter High. <laughs> Enjoy hating things. <laughs> yeah, some people do. Some, some people, people do. do, but not me, Michaela. I, I think I offer a certain amount of forgiveness to this movie because um, I always like revisiting horror in the 80s, no matter how bad it is. Like, that's just a fun decade to go back and revisit mm -hmm. the same way I kind of feel about like 90s movies and early 2000s movies. And, um, you know, I was telling Holly this week, I started watching a new TV show and I was like, this is going to be an amazing time capsule in 15 to 20 years because it had so many needle drops of mm -hmm. music from like five years ago that I was like, Oh, if like five years later, I'm already like, man, this is going to be great in like 20 years. Like, mm -hmm. but that's like, I always, I, I'm never going to be mad to revisit an 80s horror movie like yeah. ever just, just by nature of what it is. Um, I actually had a lot of fun watching this. I, I enjoyed it. It's not good, but it's uh it's entertaining and like what's entertaining about it is the things they don't want you to be focusing on like the set design and like things like that that you're like why does this school look like a sanitarium yeah. why does this yeah. not look like america that's what makes it fun to watch and that's what i enjoy about it so i would definitely recommend it because i thought it was fun to watch <laughs> i would say um if you can balance your audio and turn down the score do that yeah oh, <laughs> yes. 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 do that you might go insane yeah but uh, <laughs> and, and I mean, it's it's obvious they were trying to fill for time in a lot of this movie. They yeah. were really trying to stretch it out, and that probably is the worst thing about it. Is that might have been what tipped it for me was like the end, like yeah. that fucking thirty minute chase. It yeah. doesn't help it. Trying right. to fill like, for time. I think that tips. I was like, oh god, I can't. I'd be okay I, I can't. If this was like seventy five minutes. Just like, yeah, yeah, we're done. Yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> I don't like the ending, and I don't like the twist before the ending at all. But. Up until then, I was like, "This is pretty cool. I dig this." Even though, <laughs> even though, like the bullying is like borderline traumatic to it's watch. Bad. It's bad. It's like, really bad. It's bad, and I like it escalated so quickly too. You it know, did. like 
I was not expecting so much full frontal in this movie. Mm. And it goes on for so long, yeah. you know? The, like, yeah. But, a lot of dick. Yeah, a lot. But just one dick. A lot I of mean, one dick. A lot of yeah. one dick. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of one dick, yeah. <laughs> but I would recommend it. Sean, what did you think? <laughs> Thank you, Michaela. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. I really Sean feels redeemed. I, yeah. well, I, I felt like I was just going to get it across the board, no, and no. everyone just be like, "Yeah, no." Because, and uh, I'll agree with you, right? All uh, you know, off the bat, this is not a good movie, mm-hmm. not whatsoever. But I enjoy watching it. I mean, for the, I mean, really, yeah. for the reasons Michaela said. Like, yeah. there's just there's there's something about it. Um, there's enough elements to it where I, I have fun watching this. And you are. You're watching this movie and you're asking the questions like, why did they film here? What does this mean for the movie? What the hell is going on? Mm-hmm. And I think those questions <laughs> Why does about, April Fool's Day end at noon? Right. Yeah. Why, yeah. why is this? Yeah. And if you don't know maybe that history going into it, you, there's a lot of questions. Just like, I'm, why is this going on? And you're trying to figure that shit out as you go along. And as you're trying to figure that out, you get some pretty interesting kills as you go along. I mean, drinking a beer and having your guts explode? That's fun. <laughs> Acid that's bath where you disintegrate someone? That's, that's fun. less good. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, oh, no, that's fun for me. <laughs> <You're right. clears throat> uh, electrocution on the bed? Thumbs up. So I, there's definitely enough about this movie where you just... It, it, I think it'll keep you interested, whether it's for the kills or you're just going, well, why? Why? If you're just asking why of this movie. But I think it keeps you... Uh, I think it keeps your attention, and uh, I mean, I enjoy watching it. So, uh, I mean, I recommend the hell out of uh, Slaughter High. I will watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> He's watched Maybe it twice I have. in the na- in the last month. There's some commentaries that I have to watch. For I just, yeah. I so, just yeah. hate these people so much. <laughs> I know. It's fun to watch them die. I like that there's a collector's <laughs> edition of this. So that mm-hmm. means it's popular enough to warrant a right? collector's edition. Yeah. So there so it awesome. is. Awesome. Well, I mean, there you go. There it is. Slaughter High. high. Slaughter High. So next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by... Holly. Holly for our 300th our episode. 300th oh, yeah. episode. What? Better make it good. Um. We're well, watching. I figured October, we should visit some of the greats, and I think Wes Craven is one of the greats. So Indeed. we're going to watch The People Under the Stairs. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I have- Never seen this, and I've, I've never to seen watch it. it. Yeah. What? What? I've never seen it. Here we go. Okay, well, there you go. That's Here what I go. love about this, because you're like, well, everybody's seen that movie, and then you come. It's like nobody's seen it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. okay, it. right, exactly. Well, then yeah. there you go. <laughs> so it'll be an experience. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us for our 300th episode. 300. And until then, the basement is going dark. Dan and in it.